European Space Agency's uh, mission to the planet Jupiter is now launched. Uh, this is a spacecraft which was assembled and uh, is launched in the French Guiana near the equator, so it uses maximum you know, boost from the Earth as a rotation in the direction of the launch. And uh, the assembly, as you can see, took place in one of these uh, advanced center, launch centers. Of course, uh, uh, this is Ariane 5, a little bit slightly weaker than what the Russians could provide. That's the reason the mission takes a little bit longer, 2031, the arrival in the Jupiter. But it is now launched anyway. And when it reached the orbit at the moment, it is separated. The spacecraft separated from the launcher and is now being deploying itself in the Earth orbit, in the parking orbit, actually, what we call it. Then being pushed toward the me, uh, target, which takes a long time. It has to pass and take the gravity boost from the Earth from the Venus in 2025 and then arrival in the Jupiter in 2031. And in the meantime, it uh, has to take several, um, almost takes uh, yeah, eight years to actually use this gravity boost to reach the Jupiter, as you can see here. Uh, so lots of fly fly flybys, that means the slingshot effect of the gravity boost from these planets getting close to them, speeding up, then launching itself to the next uh, slingshot uh, booster. And then arriving at the Jupiter, it has, a slow, it has to slow down. The, studying the uh, um, icy, planet, icy satellites of the planet Jupiter, the Galilean satellites. This one was Europa, this is a Ganymede, and also the other ones, in, uh, including Io and uh, Callisto. Uh, Juno a spacecraft of NASA was a little bit disappointment. Didn't do actually anything with these satellites uh, of the Jupiter. Hopefully Juno will do that. Besides studying the actual dynamic of the planet, and these countries have taken part, as you saw in the list, and uh, 1.6 million billion euro was spent for this spacecraft. A little bit slow, but sure. When finally it, uh, it arrives at the Jupiter system and orbital, after orbital insertion, it will start uh, studying all the Galilean satellites and the dynamic of the Jupiter atmosphere. Then we'll go to the Ganymede and insert itself in the orbit around it until it crashes finally into the surface of the Ganymede. I hope that during this um, there will not be any contamination of this uh, icy satellite of Jupiter.